very close. A very good cue ball. But the red has gone over the other pocket. Yeah, I don't know whether Ronnie can drop this in dead weight and finish on the black here. But it would have to be dead weight. Well, he's going for it. Trust in the table. Oh, well played. Oh, has he gone too far? That's some shot, Phil, if he's landed on this black. Well, what can you say? That, that was unbelievable, the way he's played that red. And it's got him in. Terry Camilleri, our referee for this second semi-final. Yes, I know Sullivan becoming well acquainted with uh, Cavallari this week. I think this is the third match that Terry has officiated involving the Rocket. Well, I thought he might have given the evening off to watch the England Malta game, didn't you? I'm sure he, he'll be. He's got somebody to tell him what the score is, or not, as the case may be. It's OK. It's gone a little bit higher than intended. Probably play a little cannon into one of the reds here. One of the two above the black. And he's gone the other way. He's open reds. That's fair enough. Definite signs, though, Phil, that Ronnie's coming back again here, isn't he? His, his form has been looking good this week. And it's great for the game. Let's not beat about the bush. I know Sullivan's playing well. Many people are happy. 70. Including me. Love to see him. Yeah, me. There's always, uh, there's always full houses. 22. Well, Tiger Woods is making his comeback after over a year out of golf next week in California. And O'Sullivan holds a similar status Third. to Woods in snooker. He moves the meter. The TV ratings go up. As you say, Mike, packed houses and full stadiums. There's a buzz around venues. And he's coming up to 41 in early December. That's when he celebrates his 41st birthday. So it's not going to be a case of him being around forever. So I said this earlier on in the week. While he's still playing well and at the top of the game, savour it. Yeah, he's very fit as well, isn't he? I mean, we know he had the problem with the ankle and he cracked his ankle last year. I think, that's, I think he's, I'm not sure if he's back running, but he's one of the fittest guys on the circuit. I think he's got three or four years 46. in him yet, at least. I think he can go on to about 45. 47. It's all about whether he wants it, isn't it? And at the moment, he seems to want it. Well, he's had to work these, but he's looking good to take uh, this opening frame. the red that Neil took on. He was unlucky because it landed over the other corner. He got the cue ball, right? Because he got it tight to the back cushion. But the red that Ronnie dropped in dead weight was incredible. And, uh, and as we've often said, Phil, the rest is history. Yes, the applause tells us he's safe in this first frame. 71. Most certainly now. 
Well, he finished off his quarter final against Mark Davis yesterday 17. with a century break. 79. Can he start off today with a, a three figure contribution? Well, he's on 825 <laughs> career centuries at the moment. 85. Amazingly, as we mentioned, he, only, he made his first of the season yesterday. Plenty more to come, 81. I would suggest. And we've mentioned about if he keeps playing, for how long he keeps playing. I think he'll get close to the 1,000 mark. I really do. He has said that he wants to play in a lot more tournaments this year. Sharpen himself up. He wants to stay at the top echelons of this game. Great way to start. Yes, yeah, so the first semi-final started off with a century. Judd Trent making 135. On the way to beating Mark Selby, 6-2. The rocket leaving the launch pad here. What a break. What a man. What a champion. Only one small step in the race to six. But O'Sullivan leads 1-0.